Hello everybody, today we're going to do practical one. We open the Word document that we're going to work on, read the instructions. First, insert a cover page, banded, change the title network topology. Do that, insert page, insert. Come on. Okay, cover page. Okay, and we're going to choose Bandit over there, click, and then we have to go over here and type in Network Topology, it automatically goes to caps, capital letters, and then they must delete all the other items here, so delete everything else, so you click on it and then click on the, the tab at the top and press delete, so we have a cover page now. And what happened here is that it added another blank page which was not supposed to be. So to get rid of that, because um, in other words it, it's inserted two cover pages. So we have a situation here and I'm just going to undo everything. See you have your undo button at the top there, undo, 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 there we go, go back. You see you have your arrow at the back, at the top, that basically wipes out any f previous instructions. So if you ever get that, then you just use your undo button. So I'm going to do it again, I just clicked over there in the top, cover page, and then clicked on banded, and now I can just go and type. Let's hope it didn't do that again. And let's go. Okay, it didn't, so it's fine now. Let me click there, click on the author, press delete, click on there, click on the company, press delete, click on company address, click on address, press delete. Now the next one is to get that three columns header. Well, basically, guys, the header and footer is automatically three columns. So when we press the tab key, you'll see what I mean. Um, we're going to put our here, surname initial on the left and date with a specific format on the right of our header and footer. So get into header footer. You can either go to insert header and footer or you can go and double click in the top of your page where you're not able to normally type. Then you type your surname, comma, initial. And then you press the tab key once to get in the center. Then you press the tab key again to get to the right hand side. And then they want the date, so we're going to click on date and time. And the format must be the month, then the day, and then the year. Take note, we have two different options here, English South African and English United States. So if you don't find the option in one, you can always go and look in the other language there, other languages there. There's a button for update automatically. That just means that the date will change every time you open the page, it'll be current date so they say we must tick that so okay then click OK and there we're done next thing is a, pa a, f uh, a page number in the footer so go down to this over here this footer not the one on the cover page can you see that says first page footer we're going down to this footer over here which is all the other pages now they don't say where but I'm just going to put it in the center so I press tab and they want the page number starting at one. So we normally go into page number and format page numbers before we do anything. And then we make sure that it starts at one over there. Click OK. Then we have to go all the way down because guess what? It goes and zooms up to our first page header and footer. So we have to scroll down to the other header and footer section. And then we go to page number, current position. Why? Because I'm using I've already clicked in the place where I want it. So I went to page number, current position, then you choose what type of page, how you want it to look. There's a few options there. Normally choose the first one. <coughs> and there it is. Now we get out of header and footer. We just double click in the middle of our page. Now we're going to go to, let's say it says there both headers and footers must not appear on the cover page. And I showed you that the cover page had a different header and footer. So you don't have to worry about that. Moving on, the end of the first paragraph must be drop cap three lines and three centimeters away. So we go and highlight that end. So we highlight the end, 
take note I'll zoom my page on the right hand side of the bottom here we have a zoom like a size you can see better highlight the N and insert and then drop cap uh, where is it it's, it's over there it's like a little symbol for A and all of the lines around it click the drop down arrow next to it we're not going to just click on the A we click the drop down arrow and we go to drop cap options that's important and we choose dropped because you're going to have either have dropped or in the margin lines to drop over there distance from text you just highlight everything there press delete on the keyboard type a three and then click OK it automatically does the three centimeters for you there it is next one update your resources so we're going to add this book as a resource to our document now you normally put resources in documents why because sometimes you want to refer to them in your pages that you're typing so to, um, we go to that we go to references manage sources and then we're going to click on new and now you choose whether you want to in, introduce a resource in the form of a website or a report or a book or a art or film or interview and so on there's a whole lot of different ones we're going to choose book and there we go and put in our author and it's Sandra Jacobs and then you type oh no I'm using website you see that wrong 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 I must make sure I'm in book there we go okay title computers part of your life that is and then 2012 all these things have to be added in Satya Dool Randia and Publisher Study Opportunities and then you click OK and then you click close now nothing is going to happen here on the page but in the next step you'll see use the resource that we added to add, that we did add already to add a citation at the end of the second paragraph so over here we click right there and we go to references insert citation and by the way over here before you insert you can choose whether you want APA style or Harvard so I said choose APA click insert citation and then you choose that and there it is did they say APA no they didn't but anyway Right, change the heading, start apology to all of these, center, blue, underline, italic, Algerian, and spacing. Algerian font size 16, and character spacing by 12 points. So this is the heading that we're referring to. Go to the Home tab, and you can do it all in the arrow, arrow next to font. So we'll go to that arrow next to font. We're going to find Algerian. There it is. Uh, under was italic underline was it underline I can't even remember anyway um, size 16 underlined in italic <coughs> um, underline is underline star okay it's like that italic and then we have to use advanced because of here is the character spacing and we wanted spacing exact expanded by 12 so we choose the spacing there this is character spacing expanded and then in this one point I just delete what's there and type a 12 and if you just click OK then it automatically adds the PTO it's supposed to be center oops and it was supposed to be color blue so I'm going to change it over there to blue. So there it is. That's eight points, eight marks. Anyway, now we've got to insert our picture, star topology, below the fourth paragraph on the right, five by five, and count one paragraph, two paragraphs, three paragraphs. Four paragraphs. This is the fourth paragraph here. 
on the right well I'm just going to click put my mouse pointer there insert picture go to this device now you have to navigate to your folder where your word document and such is click on desktop I've got one on the desktop and then we go into the data folder and there's the picture and we click on insert now we have to get it exactly five by five yes it goes and moves onto the other page but never mind we just don't worry about that just click on the picture go to the picture toolbar i mean yeah the picture format toolbar which will automatically come up make sure you got it then we can go to the arrow next to size and we have to untick that lock aspect ratio and untick relative to picture size we do that so that we can make an exact size change and then we're going to go over here in that window delete whatever's there type a five and then this window delete whatever's there and type a five oops and then go onto your page and then you'll see the picture zoomed up back over here where it's supposed to be now we're going to wrap the text tight because it has to be on the right hand side and the best way to do that in the picture format toolbar clicked on the picture wrap text and tight and it can be moved to the right hand side they want it over there so there it is and then uh, drop shadow rectangle style with the border of one and a half points right how do we get the drop shadow we'll, we'll look over here in our picture styles and you can click the downward arrow there if you move the mouse you'll see that each of these styles have got little tool tips there's drop shadow rectangle click on that picture border we click on this drop down arrow and we go to weight and one and a half points there's the picture border right now they say add a caption caption must be figure one colon star topology to add a caption to a picture you click on the picture go to references and then insert caption yep it's a weird place to go but anyway they've really got a caption there we're just going to use a colon and type the word star topology there it is click ok and there is your caption done right three advantages and disadvantages of star topology they must be in bullet form we're going to find them and put a define new bullets with wingdings 216 red and bold so let's go and find the three uh, there's the disadvantages oh more oh there they are disadvantages of star topology there they are three disadvantages and three advantages so there's the heading for disadvantages and then here is um, there's the heading for star advantages so we have this one we're going to highlight and we're going to go to our home tab arrow next to bullets click the arrow go to define new bullet then we're going to click on symbol and then we're going to go find the right symbol it's in wingdings the font of wingdings so guess what we have to go and choose here the font at the top and choose wingdings not wingdings to wingdings and over here for character code you type in I write it there and type in the number 216 and there it is that's the thing click on OK but we're not finished yet because we have to change it to red and bold so that symbol must be red and bold so we click on the font button and we find bold and we choose a font color over here and we choose red in and that's it and then we click OK and there we go now to get it on the disadvantages there's a quick trick we can do we just click on one of those bullets anyone any one line and then we click on the paintbrush once and then you highlight all the other items the disadvantages and there you have it the format of those bullets have been painted onto the disadvantages next thing list of advantages of net computing must be displayed in three columns 
Ooh, with a dividing line between each column. Each column must have a width of 5 centimeters. Ensure that number 2 and 3 start at the top of each separate column. So we have a whole list that we have to, here it is, list of advantages. So there's actually four of them, five actually, six, seven. There's a whole lot here. There's seven. Um, all that all those items underneath list of advantages must be in three columns with a line between and each column must have a width of five so we get to the list okay and then we have this one two three we have to highlight all of that okay and then we're going to go and convert that into columns all right let me in the layout tab you'll see the columns button click on that but we have to click on more columns because we have to format it so we click on more columns and we choose three line between and then the width must be five so I'm just going to highlight that and type a five which will overwrite it basically delete it and put a five there and don't worry about that equal column width is fine so each one's going to be five I think that's it um, yeah okay and then we click OK and see what happens well there you go now we've got to have number two and three must be on well we've got number one is on the one column number two is there now number three must be up there so to do that we're just going to click in front of that three and press enter twice and there it is the three goes onto the top of the next column so that is another mark that you have to make sure you do All right don't worry about the rest they're not telling us about anything else right now we, they want us to do heading styles uh, apply the style heading one to these headings advantage disadvantage and list of advantages a style called heading one so I'm going to oops let's go to advantages disadvantages yeah there we go that one highlight it and go to the home tab and then we're going to Click on, um, yeah, as your styles over here, and you'll see there's one called Heading 1. So I just click on Heading 1. List, highlight the disadvantages and go and click on Heading 1. Highlight list of advantages of computer networking and then click on Heading 1. And that's done. Now they want us an auto table of contents occupying a whole page just after the cover page. So we have to insert a page after the cover page. So we're going to go right up to the top here. And over here, we're going to say um, insert blank page. Okay. So we insert blank page. So now we've got a blank page. And over here, we're going to put in an automatic table of contents. So we go to references and find table of contents. There it is. And just click the first one. There's two different ones, but we're going to click the first one. That's fine. That's it. Four marks because you have to insert a blank page. Right. A text watermark. Start apology in green color to the document. Now the the cover page won't it won't include it because it'll be the the watermark is actually part of the header and footer. And if we insert a, a cover page, I mean a watermark. Let's see what happens. We go to our design tab and we go to watermark. And then we say custom watermark okay so we're going to have a text watermark where we have to write the words um, what are the words start apology in capitals topology and it must be color green they said fine um yeah that's it and let's see okay i've got it as semi-transparent i hope you can see it on the screen okay there we can see it now you'll notice it did not go onto the cover page that's because the cover page has a different header and footer and and the um watermark is part of the header and footer and that's something interesting apply the justifier apply alignment justify to the whole document 
So how do we get the whole document? Okay, Control A. There's your whole document selected. Go to the Home tab and then click this button, Justify. There it is there, that one. Okay. Click in the white space. Next. After the bibliography and text. Okay, I didn't see any place where we actually put in a bibliography. <laughs> So maybe we need to go and add a bibliography at the end first, and then we can go and put in that email hyperlink. Right, so fine. Let's go and type two, I must have missed a, a step where we have to insert bibliography. Well, I don't think I did miss it. Nope. We will insert a bibliography because you might as well know how to do that. You have to know anyway. So, We'll go to References, Bibliography, and then you just click on Bibliography, one mark. Then, here, underneath, they say they want us to email a hyperlink to R. James, and that is the address in this use, rroman.jmzlive.co.za, and the subject is that. So we can insert a hyperlink. So let's insert and link Oops, so we click the button link and we choose um, email address over here and then we type in um, the email address is at live.co.za the subject has to be um, need more information on networks need more information on networks and for our text to display we have to type in the words R James so and that's it so it's very important the text that you're going to display that's the subject and we click on that's the actual email address and click on OK and there you have it and if you click on that link then it will send you your email program will send an email to mr james so there you go end of story done everything and we'll do the next one soon